for that, Greg. ESPN is reporting the Dallas Cowboys paid some cheerleaders millions of dollars to settle a claim that a team executive secretly recorded them as they changed in their locker room. Suzanne Bruner with us here in the studio. Okay, Suzanne, these are serious accusations. Yeah, they are, and this all stems back to 2015 when four Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders allege that Rich Dalrymple, the senior VP of Public Relations, took pictures of them while they undressed in the locker room. Now, according to an, a, a report from ESPN, one of the cheerleaders said she saw Dalrymple standing behind a partial wall in their locker room with his iPhone extended toward them while they were changing clothes. Now, Dalrymple says he actually used his key card to go into the locker room to use the restroom, not knowing the cheerleaders were in there. But in a letter from the cheerleaders lawyers to the Cowboys that was obtained by ESPN, they questioned why he went into the cheerleaders locker room when a men's restroom was 20 feet away. Now, the Dallas Cowboys did issue a statement to WFAA, and here's what it says. It says the investigation was handled consistent with best legal and HR practices, and the investigation found no evidence of wrongdoing. If any wrongdoing had been found, Rich would have been fired immediately. ESPN also reports the Cowboys investigated Dalrymple just a few months before this incident. Longtime Cowboys fan Randy Horton had accused him of taking an upskirt photo of Jerry Jones's daughter, Charlotte Jones Anderson, who is also a senior vice president, and he says he saw it happen during a live stream of the 2015 draft. Well, the Cowboys say they review the footage and didn't see any wrongdoing. Uh, Adele Rimple said all the allegations were false. Now, the $2.4 million settlement, this was actually reached back in 2016. And per ESPN, the settlement remained confidential. That was until a former Cowboys executive tipped ESPN off five months ago. Now, Dal Rimple, he actually retired earlier this month, shortly after ESPN says it started contacting the team about the settlement. There was no announcement of his retirement after 32 years on the job. Kara?